Yeah, yeah. We're coming to the end of the C project. We've been at this for three years now, uh, and it's just coming to a conclusion. But it's not really the end. I think it's really the beginning. Because what the C project has done for many of us, it has really made us think about our own impacts and how we do things, and can we do things more effectively, and also with a lower uh, impact on nature and on our climate. So we're taking the, the results of the project, we're taking the toolkit, and we're now looking to implement those uh, in our daily lives, but also in our working lives in the sports sector, the outdoor sports sector. Um, so we hope that others will adopt the toolkit, will, uh, will uh, use it and, and enjoy it, because there's a lot of fun to be had with this, but also then we'll take our impacts in nature more seriously. I'm involved in a project with the Swedish Canoe Federation and it's about integrating environmental perspectives in their uh, paddle courses and so I and uh, two more researchers have been contributing to the development of an ed educational program and we have also educated paddle instructors uh, this spring to make them more um, aware about environmental issues and to be able to integrate this into their training of, of paddlers. The toolkit, the Sea Project toolkit has been um, of great importance because we have been able to, to find activities that are useful for, for uh, these uh, situations on water. The thing that I find very interesting and very important is that you have people coming together particularly from two fields, from like the outdoor part, the, the outdoor sports part, or maybe even outdoor industry, and then all the environmental protection NGOs or people who work in that field. And it's so important for those two parties, if you would call them that, to come together because we need to have environmental protection in the future because otherwise there won't be any more outdoor sports. So it's really like a, it's a very um, important connection to make. And for those people to come together to develop a toolkit that then they can go back and use, um, yeah, sounds like a really cool and productive project. The C project has been one of the most exciting and innovative projects that Europark has ever been involved in. It's brought us together with a community of interest, the outdoor sports people, so that the protected areas and the outdoor sports have learned to build trust and collaboration, to work together for the nature that we both want to protect and look after for the future. We've built a toolkit and a body of practice that we can take forward both as protected areas but also as outdoor sports so that we can really change the practice, bring outdoor sports more into the management of protected areas so that we can really collaborate and change the, the way in which we share these nature resources. And here we are at the closing symposium of our project and it's really the beginning of the start of a new part of this adventure together. And we've been discussing here um, at the symposium about how we can work together in the future. And we've learned a few things about each other and about how we can do that. And one of the things that I, I myself picked up from the symposium that's really resonated with me was something that was said last night where it was said that if you want to start working for climate change and biodiversity as an individual, then you need to stop acting like an individual. And I think that's really important in that sense of collaboration and working together. We need to come out of our individual boxes and really begin to build bridges of how we can work together. Sometimes it's difficult to, 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 to make a change all at once, but we can certainly make a change one degree at a time. So if each of us made some individual changes that we do collectively in our organisations, then I think we do have the means to bring sustainable education into outdoor sports and outdoor sports into working with us to protect our nature in our protected areas. So thank you the Sea Project, it's been a wonderful experience. <laughs>